What is up everyone? Katie here from MB Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Today we have a racket review for you guys and today that is the Wilson Blade V9 16 by 19. So this is a very new racket that Wilson has just come out with. I believe the players on the tour started playing with this racket and this paint job around the Australian Open. Maybe some players got some early access to it uh, early in 20, or sorry, late in 2023, but now a lot of the players that endorse the blade or use the blade um, are using this one now. So let's kind of unpack it and I'll tell you guys what I think. But of course, before we jump into the video, do not forget to like and subscribe. It really, really helps us. We're on our way to 10,000 subs. It's a goal of ours to get to 10,000 subs before the end of 2024 and we're very close here to 7k so it really helps us please subscribe to the channel so like i said wilson blade v9 16 by 19. i string it up with my string of choice Toro line super toro at 50 pounds that is what i've been using for the last little while as you guys know if you're interested in picking up any Toro line products you can use our code mp tennis and get a little bit of a discount but yeah this racket i also tested the older blade and I think there is a little bit of a difference um, but first let's start off with the paint job I love this paint job I like it way more I like it way more than the old one actually I, I mean the old one was solid but like I just didn't connect with it there's some paint jobs that you just like more than others and this is one that I just think that looks quite stealthy I love how they have the blade kind of spaced out uh, letters right here I just think it looks really good. But how does it play? I know a lot of people are gonna to wanna to know how does it play, because at the end of the day, that should be the biggest factor in buying a racket. I thought it played pretty well. Uh, I'm not a Wilson guy, really. Um, from the back on forehands and backhands, this racket gives me a lower launch, in my opinion at least, compared to my Radicals. Um, I did add a little bit of weight uh, to try and beef it up because stock for me, it's just not heavy enough. It does not do the trick. Um, but I have played it stock before, so I just needed more weight. But from the back, I feel like the launch was a little bit lower. You get good pop though. I feel like the ball travels through window one quite fast if you make contact uh, well. I really think this racket had more power compared to the older one. In fact, I felt like at times it was kind of hard to control, which is really interesting because the blade line is kind of like that hybrid, at least I feel, between the Pro Staff and a Ultra or something in there. Some people might disagree with me, but like it's a 98 square inch. Um, it's not near as controlled as like a Pro Staff, but it doesn't have the power as like an Ultra, so it kind of is in between. But I thought it had a lot of power, especially comparing to my Radicals, which is kind of the equivalent in some ways for the headline. Um, from the back, I really felt the power, and at times I couldn't, not that I couldn't control it, but I definitely had to not like change my swing or anything, but like I had to get used to it uh, because it was, it was flying on me sometimes, but when I did make contact from the back, both on the forehand and the backhand, um, when I made contact clean, um, it definitely was rewarding. Balls were landing deep, they were moving through the court. That's something that I'm actually trying to, to work on is that like kind of tight spin over the net, window one, and when you do make clean contact and you're going for it with this racket, it is very rewarding and it does give you that. However, I feel like for me, it was tough to handle and I just had a hard time sometimes with the power. I don't know if it's my string setup in this racket or if I need to tighten it up a little bit. Uh, maybe I need to have like a 55 tension in here or something. Maybe it's better off to use a different string, but like I wanted to test um, this with my string and try and put some weight so it feels normal. So that's just kind of what I think from the back. With volleys, I thought it was pretty solid. The feeling with this racket is great. Wilson rackets are generally great up at the net. Pro steps feel nice and buttery smooth as well. So this racket felt pretty solid, no issues. Like the racket didn't feel unstable or anything like that when hitting volleys. Um, and same with overhead. You could really, you can you can crack it if, you, if you're making contact. I hope you all are making contact on your overheads. Um, but yeah, no issues there. 
With slices and stuff, I actually really enjoyed this racket. I think it had the most success for me. Didn't feel unstable. Sometimes when I'm playing slices with some rackets, it just feels like crap. Um, I didn't get that feeling with this one. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it felt great. So no issues there. Hold up. Do not forget to use code MPTennis10 if you're gonna pick something up from Tennison. Big thanks to them for sponsoring the video and sending me this Wilson blade. Without them, it's not possible. So if you wanna get a Wilson blade, if you wanna get another racket or any other tennis products, make sure to use our code MPTennis10 to get a little discount. Enjoy the rest of the video. On serve, similar issue to um, the ground strokes, I felt like I couldn't quite dial it in when I wanted to. Uh, I'm getting good pop, I can hit the spins, but just it's a little bit unpredictable at times. Um, once again, I don't know if that's my, my string setup in here, if it's a tension thing. Um, I just feel like I couldn't quite get it dialed in as much as I want. Uh, too, if I wanted to use it in like a, a match or a tournament. I just felt a little not confident, I guess you could say, sometimes on the serve. The serve and the ground strokes kind of go together in that sense that there was some power involved that I like could not tame sometimes. But nothing like horrible, especially if somebody's coming from a blade right now, this is gonna be probably like an extremely minor update. Uh, I do think it's a tiny bit different than the previous model, but that's just me. Uh, and then of course on return, felt pretty good. I mean, blocking returns is kind of similar to volleys in a way. You need the racket to be stable. Didn't really have too many issues there. And then one other little mini knock I have, and this is just blade rackets in general. I feel like the heart, the throat, the neck, whatever you call this area of the racket is quite wide. and. This racket is like a box beam kind of uh, setup. So like it's it's thick here. And like, I don't actually love that feeling of a wider, bigger neck throat of the racket, unless it's like a pure arrow where I know the benefit of the racket being thick here is gonna really help where I feel like I just, I can't get comfortable here with my hand when like setting up with a forehand. It's just really, it's big compared to like a, you know, a radical or a speed or even like a pro staff actually. And then also the grip, same thing. I have issues with some Wilson rackets and Selenko rackets is their grips are, are a little short. Um, so like my top finger here, as you can see, is almost at the grip tape. And I'd like to have a tiny bit more room there but that's me being extremely nitpicky. Uh, I think this racket will work well for a lot of players, especially if you're coming from the blade, it's gonna be a very simple update for you. Just make sure you demo it, make sure you like it. Um, and also, you know, if you're a club player, you wanna move into like a 98 square inch that has some good pop. I mean, I definitely like felt the pop and the power on here. You can easily throw a hybrid string in here as well, uh, put it at your attention, and I think it's gonna play well for a lot of players. You can use it stock, you can put weight on it as well. Once again, I used Torline Super Toro. That's my string at 50 pounds. Threw a Wilson overgrip on here. Put some weight here in the butt and um, tried to balance it a bit here up at the top to get some more higher swing weight and also some more some more power because stock, uh, it was a little, little light. And also huge thank to Tennison for sending this racket out to me. Without them, this video is not possible. So you guys can also use our code there on Tennison to get a discount on any of their products. And if you would like to pick up a new Wilson blade, you can use our code on that as well. So that's gonna be it guys. Do not forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next video.